What is going on guys? Bruin Steel here. Welcome back to another WWE broadcast. I'm your host Bruin Steel and I am once joined by Canadian Yorker and today we are recapping the Monday Night Raw it took place on May 20th, 2024 and it took place in Greensbury, North Carolina. So, how are you doing tonight Canadian Yorker? I'm doing okay. Doing well, doing well. How about yourself? Great, right. we have a lot to talk about, and it has come for the King of the Queen Ring um, pay-per-view, which is this Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, so be sure to check it out on Peacock. Um, it's going to be great, and basically, we're just going to do a recap, and um, yeah, so let's get started. So, uh, Sami Zayn makes his entrance and gets a mic, he talks about Queen, uh, the King of the Queen, so if you guys don't know, it's Sami Zayn, Bronson Reed, and Chad Gable in the triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship. Um, and he obviously has issues with Chad Gable. Um, Chad Gable comes out and starts, you know, dissing the um, Alpha Academy. First was Maxine, um, Tazawa, and Otis. Um, Sami say that um, um, Alpha Academy shouldn't take, um, you know, Chad Gable's, you know, bullying and stuff like that. Um, so that's the opening segment. So what are your thoughts on this opening segment with Chad Gable with Alpha Academy and um, Sami Zayn? I believe that Sami Zayn is 100% correct that yes um, Chad Gable is what Chad Gable is doing to Alpha Academy is criminal <laughs> He's <clears throat> throwing them under the bus um, incinerating them issuing them um, He wants them to be like him. He wants to be his underlings and not his friends. Uh, uh, I. And his beef with Sami Zayn. It's. I mean, I can understand from, from no. Sami Zayn was not expected to win against Gunther, but Sami Zayn pulled off the impossible against Gunther and won. And, um, you know, now Sami Zayn is a champion. Gunther, I'm sorry, uh, Chad Gable is no, not the champion. So, you know, uh, Chad Gable needs a singles run as a singles competitor. Um, it's time for, I would say it's time for Chad Gable to break up with the Alpha Academy and move on. Um, move on and you know do what he can establish himself as a singles competitor as one of the greatest singles competitors that WWE has seen um, he's still the good technical wrestler that he has but he is just mentally unhinged he's emotionally and mentally unhinged right now alright so moving on to the first match of the evening we got Sami Zayn versus Chad Gable in a one on one match before their um, triple threat match at the King and the Queen ring um, pay-per-view. Um, this was um, a okay of a match, I guess. Poor Otis, poor Tazawa, poor uh, Maxine. Uh, Maxine and um, Tazawa got kicked out of the ringside by Chad Gable. Um, usually the referee is the one that kicks people out of the um, ring. Um, but this time it's Chad Gable had enough of Maxine and Tazawa not helping, so he um, kicked them out and then he... Um, he slapped Otis once again in the face saying he should cheap shot when the referee's distracted but Otis doesn't want to do it um, and basically Chad Gable goes and gets a steel chair then gets in Otis's face more um, but for some reason Otis says that I don't have no choice and he goes ahead and helps Chad Gable win this match um, Chad Gable hits the chaos, chaos theory on um, Sami Zayn thanks to Otis um, wow, Chad Gable defeats Sami Zayn by pitfall, thanks to Otis, uh, who's in a really difficult situation if I ask you, if I, if you ask me, um, but basically, um, that's just that, um, people are like, oh, is, 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 did that mean Otis is a heel? I don't think so, I think it just didn't have a choice, but Chad Gable defeats Sami Zayn by pitfall, what are your thoughts? I mean... We can look at it both ways. 
Otis is probably in the Intercontinental Championship, or, or Chad or Otis is is you know going through the motions and is definitely feeling conflicted about helping Chad Gable win. Um, you know, and and it's gonna it's going to turn on Chad Gable, uh, basically. So, you know, I can look at it both ways. Chad Gable is going to get help from Otis, or it's Otis is just not going to help Chad Gable win, and um, and then he has to, he's going to be kicked out of Alpha Academy, essentially. So, you know, it's just, you can look at it both ways. That's the way I'm going to see it until King of the Ring comes around. Um, it's going to be interesting. All right. That's all I have to say. All right, so moving on, we got Braun Breaker making his Raw debut against this guy called Kale Dixon. And obviously, I'm just sick of them giving Braun Breaker squash matches. Like, this is just too easy for him. Um, but Braun Breaker is just butthurt. Um, he completely destroys um, Kale Dixon. It looks like um, um, Kale Dixon kind of injured himself. Braun Breaker speared him a bunch. Um, Braun Breaker ends up winning with referee stoppage that Kale Dixon couldn't continue, but um, Braun Breaker still speared him anyways. And then, oh my God, Bra Braun Breaker just took it too far. Um, he tried to squash um, Kale Dixon with the steel step, but then referee tried to stop him, but that wasn't enough. He went to grab a steel chair. Um, Kale Dixon's head was on the steel steps, but Braun Breaker out of nowhere hits a huge steel chair shot on Kale Dixon's head, taking him out. Um, Kale Dixon had to be hopped alive, put on the stretcher, and out of there. Um, Braun Breaker had a confrontation with Adam Pearce saying that, you don't control me, you didn't put me in the King of the Ring tournament, this is on you, and then walks away. So Braun Breaker is just out of control. Um, you know, it's it just chaos. chaos. Um, what are your thoughts on this? Brian Baker is really pissed that he just he mentioned it himself. He's really upset that he was not put in King of the Ring tournament. But um, uh, Otis, uh, was it um, not Otis? Um, Bronson Reed was put into the King of the Ring tournament. Bronson Reed has been competing for Intercontinental Championship, and he hasn't won the Intercontinental Championship. He's been a um, main roster guy. But, but Braun Breaker doesn't even get a chance. I mean, come on now. Braun Breaker deserves a chance to be on the, on the main roster, and he also deserves a chance to win his to win, try to win championships. Um, he's, proven, he's proven it time and time again. He's a dangerous competitor. Um, there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot that he has to prove in WWE right now. And he is just taking out his competition um, any way he can. And um, Adam Pierce has to deal with this guy. Uh, and, you know, he obviously, maybe he's not booking him right. You know, so something has to be done to adjust Braun's schedule so that Braun can get the opportunities that he needs to compete in, 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 in these tournaments to win, you know, to win championships. All right. So, yeah. Um... All right, moving on to the next match. We got a Queen of the Ring semifinals match. So the winner will go on to Saudi Arabia at uh, <coughs> King of the Ring um, pay-per-view in the, to the finals. Um, so this, the winner of this will represent Raw to face the SmackDown representative and will win the Queen of the Ring tournament. Uh, we got EO Sky versus Lyra Vicaria. Um, this was a great match. Uh, honestly, I thought EO Sky was going to win. She had it. Um, Lyra Vicaria, what a raw debut for her. Um, it went back and forth. You know, at first I thought Dakota Kai and Carly Sane was going to help out. Um, I thought they were just going to magically appear in ringside. Um, but apparently not. Um, you know, EO Sky is an athletic woman. She had chances. Um, but Lyra Vicaria came out with the win with a run up pin, so it's a sneak pin, earning a spot in the finals of the Queen of the Ring. So Lyra Vicaria does defeat Eo Sky. So Lyra Vicaria will represent Raw, and she awakes the winner of the Nia Jackson Bianca Belair uh, match, which will take place this Friday. So 
That's going to be a hell of a match in the finals. Lion Vicaria versus Nia Jax or Bianca Belair. Um, that would be crazy in the finals. Um, what are your thoughts on this match? I mean, I'm sad that that Dam's control lost. I'm sad that Io Sky lost. Io Sky definitely deserves a shot to become the queen of the ring, and they definitely deserve that shot to 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 get that chance to represent SmackDown. I'm sorry, Raw. Uh, she wasn't able to win. Um, you know, it's just it's just that way. Sometimes you can't win every single time. You win some, you lose some. You know, she was world heavyweight championship champion at one point, but she lost to Bailey. Um, but I'd say she, she's had a pretty good run so far. She made it to the semifinals. She almost made it to the finals. Good for her. Um, for Lila Vicaria, what a way to start off in, in Raw and, um, and and really get herself to, to the top, um, getting the finals, uh, making it to the finals, representing Raw. You know, it's going to be it's great seeing that she is moving forward and um and she's just make leaving her mark um in the queen of the ring tournament i can't wait to see who's gonna who she's gonna face off against nia Jax or bianca belair so even though bianca's a little banged up um man i get the feeling that it's gonna be the opposite party that's that she that lila big carry is gonna be facing and not bianca belair so and that's gonna be a crazy matchup um, for Lyra because she has to face some really intimidating odds um, and she has to use her wits in order to beat the opposition. So, that's after her. Alright, so, moving on. I um, just want to mention some stuff that happened backstage. Um, Lyra Vicaria um, came across Liv Morgan again. Um, Liv Morgan punched Lyra Vicaria in the face. Um, and then R Truth was talking with Pete Dunn and Tyler Bate. Um, and then Miz showed up. And then it's funny, R Truth is, <laughs> is doing his old shit again. Um, he's calling people without calling them their actual name. Um, he called Braun Strowman Andre the Giant, um, which is funny. Um, <laughs> so, and basically. Uh, Gunther had a um, recap on um, a promo about Jay Uso, um, and then we saw um, Damon Priest and the Judgment Day kind of falling apart, you know, because they, um, you know, Damon Priest they want Finn they want Finn and JD McDonough to win those tag team titles, um, which brings us to the next match of the um, Raw. We got Awesome Truth, Our Truth and Miz defending the. WWE World Tag Team Championship against Judgment Day, Finn Balor and JD McDonough. Um, you know, obviously Dominic Mysterio was there to run interference and um, towards the end of the match, Carlito trying to win the Judgment Day's trust was there as well. Um, it went back and forth. Um, R-Truth tried to do uh, honor in his hero of John Cena, but Finn Balor countered it and then um, Carlito put JD McDonough's foot on the rope to break the count. Um, and then Braun Strowman, even the odds, taking Carlito out, chases McDonough out, slides back in. Um, Our Truth actually won a match with John Cena's attitude adjustment, so Our Truth hits the attitude adjustment on um, JD McDonough to get the win, um, <laughs> to retain the t tag team title. So thanks to Braun Strowman, Our Truth hits the attitude adjustment. Um, um, on JD McDonough to retain the title. Holy shit. Um, but uh, what are your thoughts on this match? <laughs> I think it's it's great that our truth is paying homage to, Jay, to John Cena and using John Cena's um, a, wep weapons to basically end matches, um, which is interesting. Um, Carlito is going through that hazing treatment just to get himself into. Uh, he's going to the J.D. McDonough treatment just to get himself into the Judgment Day. Um, it's funny how J.D. McDonough was the one that was getting all that punishment. He put his life, he put his body on the on the line just to help the to help the the, the Judgment Day win the matches. Um, he definitely sacrificed a lot to make sure that they are um, on top. Um, so now Carlito has to go through it. 
and Carlito is going to do everything in his power to help them win. Um, so Carlito was not successful because Braun Strowman was there, and um, you know there's a lot of things going on between uh, between these guys and seeing Braun Strowman Strowman there really helped our truth and the Miz to win it um, because Braun Strowman's a big man and you know he did what he had to do. So, man, there's a lot of things that we can pull from there. And it's funny that R-Truth keeps winning matches against the Judgment Day, but the Judgment Day is not the same Judgment Day. So, it's, it's interesting with this dynamic between R-Truth and the Maze going forward. So. All right. So, moving on, just want to mention that on um, Otis did visit Sami Zayn in the backstage segment. Sami said, like, oh, the guy that calls me in my match and Otis said he apologizes. Otis, I don't think is officially a heel. He just did that just because Chad Gable would hurt him more if he didn't. So he says, I have to do it. I don't have a choice. But Sami Zayn says that he knows he is sorry because he's a good guy. Chad Gable isn't. And he mentioned his history when Sami Zayn was stuck with the bloodline. He said that I was in the same shoes as you are. You have a chance to walk away from Chad Gable. Um, but moving on to the segment of the evening of the uh, Raw, we got Becky Lynch talking about defending her title against Liv Morgan. Yes, guys, Becky Lynch will defend the World Heavyweight Championship against Liv Morgan this Saturday for the um, World Heavy- Women's World Championship. Um, and Liv Morgan gets interrupted. Um, Liv Morgan says that the crowd doesn't care about Becky. All she cares about is her purpose. Um, she says that she's on the revenge tour. Um, you know, she said that, and then there was what chance, and basically Liv Morgan said that, what, what, can't hear you because you all got your head stuck up Becky's ass, and, um, Becky Lynch wants to fight her, and at six, Liv Morgan runs away like a little bitch and doesn't want to fight Becky. Um, you know, I saw Lyra Vicario was going to get revenge and, um, push her back to the ring so Becky could get a hit on her, but that's just that. Um, any thoughts on the Liv Morgan and Becky Lynch segment? Oh, um, any thoughts on Becky Lynch and Liv Morgan? This We have to see the conclusion of this matchup. Um, you know, I, Liv Morgan has to win against Becky Lynch and King of the Ring. Um, and I don't know what Becky, Lynch, what Becky Lynch's plan is after um, after she supposedly loses her match against Liv Morgan, so there's a lot. There's a lot that that she, she's still going to she's still going to be feuding with Liv Morgan um, because they they obviously have history together. Um, so there's a lot of things going on. Um, I definitely think there's still going to be history between the both of them. So it's unfinished business. Becky Becky's going to retain. Sorry, because there's no way they're going to have Becky lose that quick in their, her first title defense. This is how this is how she's going to win, guys. She's going to put the arm bar on Liv, and Liv's going to tap. That's what how it's going to be, um, or hit the manhandle slam, and we're going to get Liv Morgan crybabies once again, which is funny. <laughs> so, um, hopefully, there, there's literally no way. I can't see it. There's literally no way Becky is going to lose in her first title defense. She's Becky Lynch. They're just going to have her lose the title until Rhea comes back. So that's just that, guys. <laughs> so um, there's no way. I, I, I don't know. That would be horrible if Becky loses the title that quick. There's no way. Um, but we'll save that for later. Um, but moving on, um, it's interesting. Um, moving on, we got Karen Cross and Scarlett. They, they seem to be targeting the New Day. They told Kofi already, and now they're telling Xavier, oh, there's always a different path for you guys. So we might see... A heel team of a new day imagine and it's like is Karen Cross actually trying to recruit the new day they already got um they already got their two big guys in um AOP um so why do they need a new day um or unless new day is gonna turn heel I don't know we haven't seen a heel new day team in so long um but we have to see what happens but moving on to the next match we got a WWE Women's Tag Team Championship number one contender match. So it's a fatal four-way tag team match. Winner will face Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair for the tag team titles. Um, we got Damage Control 
Dakota Kai and Kari Sane versus Ivy Nile and Maxine Debris versus Kenna Chance and Kaden Carter versus Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark. Winner faces Bianca and Jade for the Women's Tag Team Championship. Um, and obviously the heavy favorite in this match was Damage Control. Um, fuck that. I don't want them to get another chance. <laughs> um, um, but it was back and forth, you know. Obviously it was a great, it was a great match. Um, at one point I actually thought Damage Control was going to win. Um, but it went back and forth. Um, but Maxine Debrain, um, had some, had a good match in this one, but it wasn't enough. But at the end, it was, um... Shayna Baszler is always stark at the end. Um, um, she, the, Shayna Baszler with the the submission hold on Curry saying that we stark as well. Went in there with Maxine. Um, they were able to hit a gallon throw and then a jumping knee combination on Maxine Bean. Shayna Baszler and Zoe Starks win. Um, Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark are your number one contenders to the women's tag team championship. And I'm gonna say. This that match is going to be awesome. It's going to be a hell of a matchup. You got Shayna Baszler, a submission um queen, with Zoe Stark versus Jade Cargill and Bianca. Oh, um, that's gonna be a hell of a match. Um, what are your thoughts? It's just the, the right team we need to win. Um, you know Zoe Stark and and uh, and and Zoe Stark. And a partner of really dangerous individuals. I, I know. I think they need a push. They definitely need that push to move them forward. Um, man, uh, damage control has already had their chance. At, has already had their championship run. Um, I think we probably do need a new championship champion to uh, to take on the mantle. Um, so there's a lot of things going on with uh, all these ladies that are getting their chance to win the tag team titles. Um, you know, Bianca, I don't, I think Bianca and Jade are definitely retaining against uh, Zoe Stark and, uh, and, and you know, it's, it's because they're, they're, they're just a powerful team. They are impressively powerful. And, um, you know, I still have to catch up on the backlash, but I'm definitely going to be catching, while I'm catching up on backlash, I'm going to be paying attention to the championship match right before they won the championship, uh, but I think that they are very, they're a very impressive team, and they're going to be hard to beat for some time. I imagine. I think it's going to be. Um, they're either going to book it. They're not going to book it at. I'll be actually surprised. I don't think it is, but I mean, they're not going to book it at the King and Queen pay per view. I believe it's just going to be a matchup made on Raw. It's probably going to be on SmackDown or Raw. Um, we have to see what happens. Maybe Raw. We have to see what happens. Um, but I think that um, it, it's gonna be a good. It's gonna get be a, a good match. Excuse me. Um, but moving on, we just see Ludwig Kaiser get interviewed. We see Drew McIntyre talking about his match in a future match with Damon Priest, which I think is gonna happen at Clash of the Castle. It has to be. Um, and then we actually see Chad Gable talk with the Creed brothers. So this is the thing. We might see. Um, Otis um, calls Ch Chad the championship and ch um, turn on Chad and Chad breaks up we might see a heel faction of Chad Gable and the Creed brothers that'll be crazy um, imagine if Otis and um, imagine if Sami Zayn joins Otis and um, Maxine and Tazawa <laughs> that'd be funny um, but anyways moving on to the main event we got Gunther and main event Jey Uso King of the Ring semifinals the the the, the the male wrestler that will represent Raw going into the final that Saudi Arabia. Um, so let's get to it. Um, this was a brutal match. Gunther obviously was targeting Jay Uso's arm. Um, Jay Uso had struggled. Um, Jay Uso struggled with the arm. Gunther slapping him really hard. You can hear it. Um, Jay Uso almost won this match with a Uso splash, um, but he accidentally knocked down the referee with a spear. Um, and the referee wasn't down that much. He was just hurt. Um, couldn't see Jey Uso pinning Guther. It only was like two and a half. So, um, but it went back and forth. Um, it was, um, so, but then Guther, um, targeted the, 
Gunther hit a power bomb, and that was enough. Gunther <laughs> hits the arm trap. Gunther clutch, earning a spot. Gunther defeats Jay Uso by submission um, to earn a spot in the finals at Saudi Arabia as a pay per view this Saturday. Um, so Gunther moves on. What are your thoughts on this main event? Man, it would have been nice to see Jay Uso get the upset against Gunther. Um, because Jay Uso definitely deserves his title, the singles one. Um, you know, it's good to see that that's going on, and it's good also. I mean, Gunther has been a dominant champion. Now he's dominating King of the Ring. Um, he still has to face his opponent um, that is on Raw, whoever that person is. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see who's going to be the next opponent for Gunther. Uh, Jay Uso, he's gonna, he definitely has to go back to the drawing board and attack uh, attack a different angle of what he's going to do to get better and improve himself so he can win um, a championship. So there's a lot of things that have to be worked on. Um, you know, Gunther knows how to win, and that's what makes him so dangerous. Um, if he knows how to win, he knows how to apply the right amount of pressure uh, to make people stop. So it's uh, it's interesting to see how things are going to go with Gunther going forward. And, um, yeah. I, I, I think Guther could win um, King of the Ring. Um, he will face the winner of Randy Orton and Tamak Tonga. So that's going to be great. We might see Randy Orton versus Guther for the first time. That's going to be of a matchup. Um, but we'll see what happens. But anyways, that would do it for Raw. Um, in terms of grading, I give this a A-. minus. Um, it was a great show. How about you? I'm going to give it an... I'll give it an A. Um, it was a great show. Uh, a lot of things could have been done better, but it was still a great show. Can't complain. Lovely show. Um, everybody was was great. So I'll give it an A. All right, guys. That will do it for our broadcast. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't done so, hit that like button, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, um, comment your favorite WWE wrestler in the comment section. Um, but before I leave, just want to... Um, talk about some things. I just want to mention once again, I will be going to the Friday Night Smackdown, May 31st, which is next Friday. Um, I'm going with my friend Joey, so I won't be doing a broadcast, but my friend here, Canadian Yorker, might be doing one as well, um, might be doing one solo, so if he does, be sure to check out that broadcast. Um, I'm not going to do one because I'm going to be at the actual event with my friend Joey, so um, that's exciting. Here at Albany at MVP Arena, the SmackDown after King and the Queen Ring. Um, we'll see what happens. Maybe a SmackDown um, superstar will win. Maybe Randy Orton will win. And then we will get to see him sit at the throne at the SmackDown. So that'll be fun to see, especially for our friend Joey because he likes Randy Orton like a lot. Um, but we'll see what happens. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, be sure to check out Canadian Yorker's YouTube channel. His link will be in the description as well as our wrestling channel, which is WWE Wrestling Bros. That um, video link will be in the description as well. But my name is Bruin Stills. This is Canadian Yorker. Thank you guys for watching. And we will see you guys for the next broadcast. Um, unfortunately, I will be out of town this weekend, so I won't be around for a broadcast. But... Canadian Yorker will be, so hopefully he'll be doing a broadcast for you guys. Um, but I'll see you next time. Um, see you guys later. Any last minute, second, lone sauce? No, that's all. No, no words. All right. Take that care, would, everybody. All right. That would do it, guys. Take it easy.